The greatest blessing of our democracy is freedom. But in the last analysis, our only freedom is the freedom to discipline ourselves. Vote for the man who promises least, he'll be the least disappointing. Even when we know it is right, too often we fail to act. More often we grab greedily for the day, letting tomorrow bring what it will, putting off the unpleasant and unpopular. Age is only a number, a cipher for the records. A man can't retire his experience. He must use it. Experience achieves more with less energy and time. You don't have to blow out the other person's light, to let your own shine. Everyone is entitled to be wrong about their opinions, but no one has the right to be wrong about their facts. I have known men who could see through the motivations of others, with the skill of a clairvoyant, only to prove blind to their own mistakes. I have been one of those men. I was 11, then I was 16. Though no honors came my way, those were the lovely years. Two things are bad for the heart, running upstairs and running down people. Most of the successful people I've known, are the ones who do more listening than talking. The main purpose of the stock market, is to make fools of as many men as possible. Whatever men attempt, they seem driven to overdo. When hopes are soaring, I always repeat to myself that two and two still make four. I have witnessed a whole succession of technological revolutions. But none of them has done away with the need for character in the individual, or the ability to think. Creativity, take the obvious. Add a cupful of brains, a generous pinch of imagination, a bucket full of courage and daring, stir well and bring to a boil. Whatever failures I have known, whatever errors I have committed, whatever follies I have witnessed, in private and public life, have been the consequence of action without thought. One of the secrets of a long and fruitful life, is to forgive everybody, everything, every night before you go to bed. None of us can be free of conflict and woe. Even the greatest men have had to accept disappointments as their daily bread. The art of living lies less in eliminating our troubles than in growing with them. Whatever task you undertake, do it with all your heart and soul. Always be courteous, never be discouraged. Beware of him who promises something for nothing. Do not blame anybody for your mistakes and failures. Do not look for approval except the consciousness of doing your best. Approach each new problem, not with a view of finding what you hope will be there but to get the truth. The realities that must be grappled with. You may not like what you find. In that case you are entitled to try to change it. But do not deceive yourself, as to what you do find to be the facts of the situation. Recipe for success, be polite, 
prepare yourself for whatever you are asked to do, keep yourself tidy, be cheerful, don't be envious, be honest with yourself so you will be honest with others, be helpful, interest yourself in your job, don't pity yourself, be quick to praise, be loyal to your friends, avoid prejudices, be independent, interest yourself in politics, and read the newspapers. Learn to take losses quickly and cleanly. There is something about inside information, which seems to paralyze a man's reasoning powers. Beware of barbers, beauticians, waiters, or anyone, bringing gifts of inside information or tips. Don't try to be a jack of all investment. Stick to the field you know best. Peace is never long preserved by weight of metal, or by an armament race. Peace can be made tranquil and secure only by understanding, and agreement fortified by sanctions. We must embrace international cooperation, or international disintegration. Science has taught us how to put the atom to work. But to make it work for good instead of for evil, lies in the domain dealing with the principles of human dignity. We are now facing a problem more of ethics than of physics, 